A former Bristol resident, Anthony Quinn is remembered not only through his films, but also through his art. That's right. Now the Anthony Quinn Foundation is working with the Intercontinental Hotels to bring Quinn's art to New England and abroad. NBC 10's Leslie Urancian has a story. That was a sculpture that he created. When uh, Catherine Quinn wears this necklace called Shy Black Girl, it brings her closer to her late husband, Anthony Quinn, and his passion for art. He knew that I, I was the right person who would continue his his legacy. Seven years after his death, Mrs. Quinn says for the first time she's ready to display his work globally, all while holding dear to her family's Rhode Island roots, which she says influenced some of his last years of artwork. We used to take, I want to say, two, three hour walks every single day. He was just inspired by the surroundings, by the, the trees, the nature, the people, the human contact. Because he would, and, and, and people in Bristol will say, you know, he used to ride his bicycle down the street, he'd stop in the coffee shop, people would go up and talk to him and uh, he loved that kind of contact. Quinn says she wants to keep her husband's love alive for Rhode Island by building the foundation in Bristol. Meanwhile, the Intercontinental wants to bring the Quinn collection to the Middle East, Europe, and East Asia. While the Intercontinental Hotel was approached by artists from L.A. to New York City, the Rhode Island connection was dear to Tim Kerwin's heart. So I went down to the estate to just look at the possibilities and was absolutely thrilled with the range of product and the range of, of styles. I and mean, it was just amazing, uh, prolific collection. So I said, that's it. It was, the, it was a 10 minute conversation and off we went. So from the Bristol estate to the entranceway of Boston's Intercontinental, destroyed but not defeated, this sculpture made its way to public display and is the curator's favorite. And basically it represents in sculptural form that a man's ideas can can just will always survive time. And if it's up to Quinn, all of her husband's ideas will survive the test of time. From Rome to Rhode Island, Leslie Rancy and NBC 10 News, Boston.